Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress 2014 with the Flying Fent. This is Night Hall, episode number 67. Uh, and we're just, we're just carrying on. It's nothing really, you know, really, nothing real special. Uh, we did finish this, though. We can go ahead and remove this temporary floor to put in a wall. Um, is there anything else? I'm curious to see if we are back to making things or if these guys are still... Oh, no, there we go. Look at that. All the... Metal stuff is in full swing. The leather, unfortunately, we don't have any leather. So they can't build anything. The cloth, they are indeed making cloth stuff of the ones that we need. We are churning out charcoal at an alarming rate. Build furnace, wood furnace. Now that this has been taken down, we'll build it on nice blocks. There we go. This is slated for removal. It needs masonry. This is probably going to take a while to get built because it does need a architect. A architect? And it needs an architect. I speak well, as evidenced by the fact that I use the word well and not good. Although I often speak good as well. Okay, we're we gonna remove that little section of floor there, guys. What's uh, what's the deal there? Are there any trees growing in here? I checked up front here, but I didn't check uh, up top. I mean, I didn't check uh, down below. But no, there are no trees growing there, so that's fine. Oh, I, it looks like another uh, another lamb was born. And since it was not been slaughtered yet, I'm going to assume it's female. Let's go ahead and assign the lamb. So we need one more. One more lamb and then we're good. Oh, I thought these doors were not pet passable. They should not be. Uh... Pets should not be getting in and out of these doors on their own. There we go. Okay, there's some idlers. Who is it? Woodburner? Really? Weaponsmith, spinner, bone carver, tailor, thresher. That's good. That's good. I'm happy with that. Uh, hauling jobs. A whole bunch of them. Oh man, there are so many hauling jobs. I still may not have enough haulers. Uh, good, lots of work going on over here still. Did, uh, did my masons make those statues? I'm gonna assume they did. They absolutely did make those statues. He's still making mechanisms. And how many mechanisms do we have now? 85. Wow. Now, is that... If I'm not mistaken, that's 85 mechanisms plus 77 unavailable. Or is that 85 mechanisms and 77... No, it's 85 mechanisms and plus 77 more, which are unavailable. So, you, sir, we are good for mechanisms for now. You can take a break. That's a lot of friggin' mechanisms. How many spears do we have, actually? Let's check that as well. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. How many spears do we have? Weapons. Uh, training spears. Uh, many, I think. Uh, build. Trap. Upright spear. Let's just see. Shall we? Done. 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, that's only 8. 9, 10. There we go. Done. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Done. Spears. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, done. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, done. And one more set. Done. Wow, look at that. I didn't think we had them. Uh, build an armor stand back here. Bitter orange, sounds good. Door. 
right there, yep, door, right here, good, door, here, door, here, door, here, door, here, good. Good, bunch of doors going in, armor stands, you're gonna get a second fully, full speed, full power danger room up and running. But I don't really have the squad to go in it yet, but we will. And when we do, we'll be very glad we have it. Just like once I get a noble who needs this room, I'll be very glad I have it. Speaking of nobles, is everybody semi-happy? They are semi-happy. Good. That's all I can ask. Uh, almost done? Oh, it's very close. Look at that. This tiny little sliver channeling left to do. And... You guys done? Come on. There's two, two spots. Oh, they're not even here yet. Only one is getting ready to get worked on. Which means they're probably up here doing this. Yeah, there they are. Thank you, miners. You're good peoples. And done. So let's hide all of these stones. There we go. Um, and then uh, we'll be smoothing, I have to do, but I'm going to hold off on that. Yes. Excellent. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so glad it's really coming together. This, this is seriously the furthest I've ever gotten with this, this design. I'm very excited about that. Got enough cloaks uh, out of cloth, yeah, probably. The military dwarves aren't taking those, that's for uh, civilians. I wish I could say, like, this stuff is military only. But of course I can't. I mean, it's fine. It just means you need to make more of the stuff that the military would use, right? Alright, so the miners are done. All of that. Now, do I still have a thousand hauling jobs? I do. So instead of smoothing their miners, I'm going to borrow your assistance in hauling. Unfortunately, there's just too many hauling jobs. Still. <laughs> Sad as that is to say, there's just too many hauling jobs. Uh, now, I wonder if this carpenter is now too good to make more spears. Who was it that was doing it? If we go out and look for... No, it would be... They would be specifically have this assigned to them. Oh, they don't. Oh, no, that's right. It's just maximum skill. So it's who's assigned to the burrow. Carpenter, Mason, Spear Maker. Oh, that's right, I called them Spear Maker. I was smart like that, planning ahead, and I forgot. Spear Maker, you are now adequate. So, you can cease being a Spear Maker. You can become a Hauler. And uh, I don't know why I turned that off. You can leave it on and do that and that. Uh, now, who here has no doomed? You are now the spear maker. But when I say you are the spear maker, does anyone else instantly think of like uh, Ghostbusters? 
it totally reminds me of like the gatekeeper and the key master. I am the gatekeeper. And I am the spear maker. Where are all these people going? Oh, they're going to get wood, I bet. No, there is a billion. Oh, look at that. We were actually running out of wood from previously cut trees. That was good timing to send. I didn't even recognize that when I sent him out. I was just like, I got lots of people now. You might as well do something. It was a total accident that he's actually doing something that I kind of needed. Very surprised no one's removing that chunk of floor yet either. It usually gets done fairly quickly. And why is there just a iron male shirt sitting there? It's supposed to show how many hauling jobs I have to do, right? It's just stuff lying all over the way to Oh. I was gonna say, how did you get in there? And that's right, that's to be installed, I haven't done it, and then forbid passage yet. Why is it pet passable? I know you should be pet passable. Okay, and then you set them as internal, internal, internal. Make a barracks, slash armory, that size. Nobody assigned. Perfect. Mayor, your thing is still you don't want me selling earrings. Fine. Oh, I was going to set smoothing, but that's right, my miners are hauling. Oh man, look, there's like two pages of hauling jobs. Uh, migration wave, maybe, in the summer? That would be nice. We got another migration wave, another 20 people. When I'm holding this, I feel unstoppable. Excellent. That's, that's good with me. I, uh, I'm okay with you going attached to iron iron things. Steel would be better, but I don't have steel available. I lack the uh, the flux. Oh, look at that! An axe recruit has become an axe lord. If you question the efficiency of danger rooms, this should explain to you why they're good. It's been what two seasons, and my recruits are already becoming axe lords. Sure, it must be one of these guys. I don't know which one became the Axe Lord. Which I think all of these guys are Axe Lords, aren't they? Isn't that with the blue? Let's find someone who's not. Uh, I'd have to find someone who's actually an Axe Dwarf, though. Profession Axe Lord, that's what I'm looking for. Profession Axe Lord. Axeman. Axeman. So it is, it's this guy here. It's uh, Norm. Nora. I'm sorry, Nora. Nora Mentor. Relieved Boulder. Was caught in the rain recently. Recently. Was caught in the rain recently. Uh, but is now, is already an Axe Lord. Outstanding. Outstanding. So my military is actually in pretty good shape now, right? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve. What, wait, 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 why are you? Oh, you're a militia captain in the holding clip, right? I have twelve armed and trained militia, armed with metal and armored in metal, mostly. And then I have another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I have another eight dwarves who are getting armed and will soon be getting trained. That's, I don't know about you, but that's a fantastic military. And I mean, it's going to keep growing. It'll be great when I get some archers going. Very much so. Once the hauling is all caught up, that'll be, I think, the next task will be to start getting the archers up and running. Uh, they're going to be, as I mentioned, this 
on this level here will be the uh, archery ranges. There'll be a couple of barracks there as well. Oh, this guy's finally removing that uh, that floor. Hurry up! Don't be so slow. Why are you so slow? Come on! Come on! Come on! I could remove the floor by now. Come on, just take a hammer, smash it a few times. Problem solved. It's not rocket science. There we go. Well, it took that guy longer to remove the floor than it took the, the guy who built it to actually build it. Now, that's either a really well-made floor or that guy really sucks at, uh, at removing floors. Floor out of candlelit locks. Yep. And you know what? Floor. Uh, there we go. Floor out of candlelit logs. Floor out of candlelit logs. Floor. Candlelit logs. Candlelit logs. Oh, look at that. I'm out. Uh, how about. Cashew wood logs. Cashew wood. Cashew wood. Cashew wood. Cashew wood. I apparently have a lot of cashew wood. Oh, went too far. Okay. Oh, a little small little section of floor there. Oh, out of cashew wood. Look at that. Uh, how about some tea wood? Oop, went way too far on that one. Tea wood floor. 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 Wow, that is a lot of floor. Engage. <laughs> That's gonna take forever. And a day. As Bon Jovi would say. Oh, for a minute I thought the baby was pulling the lever. And then it switched and showed the guy standing there with the baby. Or the or the lady. I I don't know. Who who is it? Is it a, is it a guy or is it a lady? It is uh it won't tell me. Who else who's standing there? This is a she. A lady. She dreams of raising a family. Well, better use them better you than Zonkathin. No way. Poor Zonkathin. Uh, I'm tempted to say if Zonkathin has another baby, I'll reassign him, but or, uh, sorry, I'll reassign her, but um, she's an axe lord already. I'm not about to make that happen. Whoa, what? Hang on a second. Hang on one second. No, the game would have paused, right? If there's a trade caravan, I'll show you why I'm stopping here. If I slide this over so you can see it. Uh, under Sound Sense, I always have it kind of running off on the side. I just noticed trade was playing and I was like well why is trade playing there's no traders maybe the traders are like just about to show up no there's no traders on this list 
Uh, migration wave would be nice, though. Is it midsummer yet? No, it's still early summer. I'm hoping midsummer I'll get a migration wave. I'm hoping that very much. Hope beyond hope. Which is a silly expression. But it's an expression nonetheless. Oh man, look, I have so many beds, tables, chests. Can I uh, complete this floor then? Is that what you're telling me? No beds. My bed's in the wrong place. Mental note made. Wood chests, wood chests. Okay, let's go ahead then and cancel that bed. Build bed in the right place. Chest over where the bed was. Good, so that takes care of everything on that side. Uh, oh, jeez, I might have enough beds, you know. Which would be big news. Holy smokes, I do too. Wow. I have honestly never filled up one floor, let alone two. I have never lived long enough to accomplish this. quite the accomplishment as far as I'm concerned to even make it this far. I'm very, very pleased. If we get attacked tomorrow and completely wiped out, knock on wood. There you go, I even knocked on wood. Uh, I'll, be, I'll still be very pleased with how this has gone. I, I, I really don't understand how I'm still alive. Chests. How about some doors now? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Doors, and I think there's doors need to go up here. Yep, ten doors. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Wow, two whole floors done. That literally blows my mind. Uh, Alright, so if we come back up here then, these are both done. The dormitory and my dining area there are all done. So if we come back up here, do I have enough beds? Three, five, three, no I need two more. Uh, armor stand, I need, uh, apparently I need armor stands and weapon racks too. Do I have any weapon racks? One. So I need one more weapon rack, two more armor stands. Add wood weapon. There was one weapon rack and two armor stands I needed, right? Yeah. Yeah. One weapon rack, two armor stands. Good. And then just some more beds and some more chests. Uh, but I do have more doors, right? So how about doors? We've got one left, let's put it right there. So we can completely close off the storage room. Nice. Did all the bolts get hauled? I'm going to assume they must have by now. They did, yeah, look at that. Everything's been hauled out of there. So what is all this hauling? Oh, it's a lot of wood. A lot of wood to be hauled. 
probably because I almost ran out of wood, so a lot of the stockpiles were getting pretty close to empty is what I'm going to guess. Plus I'm wood burning, right? Wood burning does chew up a lot of it. Uh, what I might do, actually... What I might do is turn charcoal into a workflow. Bars of coal... I've only got 39, so I'm going to set that a range. Anytime it gets below 50, make 100 of it. It is below 50, they'll do this till there's 100. Charcoal, add charcoal, build, furnace, wood furnace, over here, out of nice blocks. Okay. In fact, I am curious. How things are coming. Leather is still what we need, but I'm looking at iron. I wanted to see how close I was in reaching my iron goals. And look at that, we have all the iron leggings we need, which isn't a surprise. I decided not to use iron leggings. Um, we're almost good on helms and battle axes and shirts, and we need a bunch of other stuff. But I'm glad that we're advancing. I'm quite glad of that. Ooh. A rush Zolgloria. A rush this guy. Uh, pressing, is that a mutable skill? Apparently not. What about milling? Ah, uh, gem, there we go. So you're going to be a gem cutter. Hey, that's cool. I don't know which one you're going to take. So I may just have to reset both of these when you're done. But that's cool. I'm going to assume you're going to gem cut a rush. Search ER, you, there we go. Uh, you, preacher, follow. You're going to come up, become a legendary gem cutter. Actually, that'll be my, you'll probably be better than my normal gem cutters, won't you? If we take a look at my gem cutting, uh... Yeah, so you will unseat one of my gem cutters. It won't work. They will be relegated to uselessness. Which is fine with me. Oh, and my Mark's Lord has been re-elected. Wow, people really like him, eh? Good for him. Good for you, buddy. Oh, I didn't realize that I had left these little corners here. That was not intentional at all. Did I leave them on the next? Oh, I haven't dug it out yet. Right, fair enough. I predict you're going to do gem cutting. I was correct. You're headed right for the gem cutter. Alright. And they should have everything they need. So they'll go off, grab some gems to do some gem cutting. Uh, Slime production, cloth, cloak. Good. So we are continuing to make things. Uh, the digging has all completed. The floors are going in slowly, slowly, slowly. And as they do, right, we'll just do this. As we get the ability to, stick in walls. Um, and we'll continue doing that, but that'll all be in a future episode. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.